back to another episode of Life is Strange True Colors and we're on episode four today. I have been told this episode can be intense so as usual just a little bit of a warning this uh, game does have several things that could be potentially triggering. It has upsetting themes, it has um, sometimes violence, it has language and it does just basically cover things that could be considering, uh, considered upsetting. So maybe worth checking in on what you what is in this episode before you watch it. And if you think you're going to be upset, maybe maybe sit this one out. Um, if you guys remember last episode, um, we did have a really big decision that we had to make for Charlotte. Whether we were going to absorb her anger or whether we were going to let her feel her emotions. And you guys voted to let her feel her emotions, which I also agree with. So that is what we did last episode. And we also LARPed all episode, which was really fun. Um, and then finally, we found out what was being covered up at the mines, which is they did purposely ignore the fact that Gabe called to ask them not to do the blast. And it seems that they were doing it as part of a bigger project, which hopefully we're gonna Pike, learn more about now. It's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right, bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. I hope she's made a Citizens copy of, of that. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. <laughs> Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Do we look in a romantic choice this episode? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Okay. Oh my gosh, look For at now, us. I'll grab the USB stick. We got a little cute outfit on. Okay, so. A pressed rose. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Can I get some emotion from that? Okay. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. <laughs> you so first. Charlotte gave Gabe a rose, and he kept it and put it in a frame. Very cute. Um, so yeah, you guys were kind of worried that potentially, uh, potentially Pike, can we trust Pike? I don't know. I also get slightly worrying vibes too. I'm just going to check my dresser real quick, by the way, because there might be some other outfits we can try on too, but we are looking cute. We've got a little hot dog outfit. We've got a fierce tiger outfit. We got a little kiss outfit, a cut in the little pocket outfit. And uh, wait a minute. Why does this deer, Jane Deer? Why does that kind of remind me of episode Life is Strange 2? Am I just imagining that? Oh, it's from Life is Strange 1. Jane Doe. It is, it's Jane Doe. Is that from Life is Strange 1? It's from the first game, no freaking way. What if you guys told me that there's a hoodie from Life is Strange 2? So I was really hoping we get that, but I can't see it. Should I go kind of flirty today? I'm gonna go a little bit flirty because we're meant to be giving a rose, right? Let's go a bit flirty. So yeah, if it is today when we lock in a romance option or do I still get some chance to like change it? I'm not sure. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better and we have lots of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make s'mores. Um, the LARP was amazing. You're a really good bard. I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill up your backstory with banshees. That's from little Ethan. So that's what we did last episode. Okay, we do lock it in this episode. I'm gonna make sure you guys get the so chance to So is this thing vote. just decoration or am I supposed to use it? I don't really know who I've I'm thinking. I've been playing more the these past I few weeks think... than the last few years. I think I'll nice. maybe I slightly think we'll more stick with Minesweeper from now on. 
Uh, we got some Chinese takeout. I'm out. thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. What do you think Alice's voice sounds a little bit weird? I think it sounds a bit I different. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to pre -game. sleep instead. We call it pre-drinks. Happy spring festival, Gabe. Okay. Should I have a look out the window? Looks like the festival is already in full swing. And we just see if I've got any more emotions. I'm pretty in nervous. Here. Nah, no more emotions. Okay. You guys suggested that I can fix the sink. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. Okay. Uh, maybe we can try and speak to him apart the party then to try and fix our sink. Where is the USB? Don't worry. I'll come back to you. She misses her puns. Is it in here? I feel like you guys are very torn down the middle. This went between Ryan and uh, Steph this time. Robot, was this ornament? Yeah, this one ornament will oh. really bring my tree together. Oh, we need ah, Christmas. String lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. Oh my gosh, I'm subscribed to that subreddit. <laughs> what are the chances your instruction manual is in here? Hmm. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Where is it? Where did she put it? Is it by the door? Maybe it's by the door. Oh, here we go. Gabe's notebook and USB stick. I'm about ready to start my own list. We saw this last episode. She moved to Maryland, track her down. Yeah, we saw all this. And then let's grab the USB stick. Are we trusting giving this to Pi? Okay. I feel Time a bit to head worried. downstairs. Okay. Eleanor messaged us. Uh, thank you for spending time with me today. Are you joining us this evening? Yes, this is one party. Party? Party. I'm willing to brave. We'll make this as painless as possible. We also got a message from Ethan. Um. Hey, I'm really sorry. The LARP was amazing. You are badass. You have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad. Stay safe. Enjoy the festival. I wish I could be there. But I'm getting crazy work done on the next Thena comic. Sweet, what's happening in this issue? No spoilers, but Thena finds a gate to the underworld and fights the king of demons. Oh, snap. That actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. Bless him. Cute. Uh, let's see what's going on in my block. So, Mike says Everything there's some commotion. So not fine. At the Silver Dragon when I was walking to the festival. Everything okay? Oh, that was Charlotte in the last episode. Okay. Um, and then Haven Guess Springs. the festival started a while ago. So we'll have live music, a jelly bean guessing contest, a raffle, food, drink. And oh my gosh, I want to go to a festival. This sounds so cool. Um, Alec Andres, uh, Angela says thank you for everyone at the cook-off. It's already happened, so we're a little bit behind. Steph and did a really great job putting all that together. Everyone who did the LARP. I had a blast. Splendid work. Is that what that was? Still banned. Okay. And then we're live. So this is Steph. Make sure you stick around. Uh, we have something special brewing on the main stage. Ooh. Wait. Am I going to be in a concert with my guitar? Will you be my date to the festival, Shoo Shoo? I feel like we've had a lot of romance with both of them. Um, I feel like in the early stages we were romancing a lot more with um, with Ryan, but last episode we got very All flirted with the Steph. Bard will ride but we again. also got flirted with Ryan last episode. Oh my gosh, it's actually low key quite hard. I don't know. Let me just check the roof real quick. I'll, I'm a complete. I mess. should Can really head down to the park. Okay, nope, nothing to do there. So let's head down to the park. Ryan is the first male love interest you're actually interested in. <laughs> yeah, I think. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think you're right. I do think you're right. I didn't love the romance interest last time. I've got to be honest. Mystic, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate your advice. He does text me back. I really like him, but if it doesn't work out, remember your advice. Because I think I was a bit too much from texting my test, love. Test. Him my love. Check. 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 Sorry, I don't want to talk over. Holy shit! You own a skirt? <laughs> right in front hey, of the microphone! Guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. Oh my gosh, both options right there. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. 
<laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Need help setting up or who's playing? Let's see who's playing. Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. Oh no, what does I that mean? I have to mean? run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. I feel like if we pick Ryan, Steph will be angry. But if we pick if I wanted to give Ryan away at Steph, Steph and Ryan, Ryan would will definitely be, be on my list. <gasps> anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Can we pick up a rose? Yeah, let's definitely take a rose. I think you guys will get to vote, don't worry. Yeah, Mystical, I hope it goes well, my love. Side with the 5% of us who don't want to choose. There is the option to choose no one, of course, but I am... Um, I am a romantic. I will always pick a 232. romance option. 233. 234. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. No. Why do the I do this to myself? The red one is 234. Hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe wait. I can help him somehow. Damn it. Another year, another prize One, gift card for yours two, truly to keep. Three. I'm such a little devil. Really? Oh Come on, jelly bean lady. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? <laughs> you can go right after this determined young man. How can I... Another year, hmm. another prize can I get gift card from for the actual jelly bean keep. bar? How can I'm I help such him? a little devil. I want to help him win because she's scamming him. But I can't get her to say anything. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. I want to try and help him get his jelly beans. I'm taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. <gasps> That's why she doesn't want Chrissy's anyone to win. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So... <gasps> I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. And he just wants to get treats for Which his is dog. really embarrassing, saying it out loud. No, it's not. It's so not at all. Cute. That's sweet. I love her. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Mm. Wait a minute. Uh... It's always more than you think it is. No, I like didn't get the chance to do it. 800 or so. Huh. Wait a minute. She's yeah, sad now. Could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Okay. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, okay. I was close? Maybe I should say something. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? 700. I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. Oh my gosh. I'm using again. my palm for evil. Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? <gasps> Hell yes. Your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Shh. Oh. Don't ask me how. <laughs> 731 jelly beans. <gasps> that's... That's correct. To be fair, she could just be like, no, yes. it's actually 732, sorry. Thanks so much for your help. You rule. Okay, I'm really hungry now. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> I want jelly beans. Estro, Estroberg, mom, thank you so much for the 14 months in a row. And Silky, thank you so much for the bids. Would you like boys and girls, both Ryan and Steph, at your time? They are both absolute babes, let's face it. Um, Typhoon, Typhoon saying happy spring festival and blocking replies. And the jelly bean counter contest has ended. Congratulations to our winner, Hector. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. I thought it was going until midnight. They are the perfect guests. <gasps> And she's been doing this for four years. No, five years. She's been scamming the town for five years. And we've got message from Diane. Bitch. Hey, Alex, wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. I have to work this year. But I really appreciate our conversation earlier today. It was great getting to know you better. This is all happening in the space of a day? Oh, geez, this is an intense day. 
I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Quick, get a beer, get a beer, get a beer. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. Oh, it's a little tiny version of the town. It's the kids. And wow. Francie, thank you so much for the This is a beautiful world. model. I love tiny versions of things. They make me happy. I also remember that one of you guys were doing the snack time last time. And I, I didn't tell get Mac to, uh, that I heard the call. I didn't get to check on it. He deserves so that much, at least. I am going to go and grab a snack now. If you guys want to also grab a snack, now is your chance. Oh, you can vote on mobile. Oh, okay. I'm just going to grab a snack. Suggest you guys grab one, too. Which is kind of my way of saying I'm hungry and I want to feel like I'm at a festival as well. Also, it feels really bright in here compared to the festival, so. There we go. A bit more festival, lower light and vibes, I think is, uh, I think is nice. I'll turn these down as well. We've got Jed here. It happened last He's year. He's happy. Yep. I remember it's it been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. I need to ask him about my um It's about nice my to sink. see Jed so in his element. If Jed works out as a body, I am actually gonna be completely Probably around gifted. 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already- the radio station The Black Beast. Life. No, it's Valkyrie. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? <laughs> Poor thing. The Black Beast of Portly's Traveling Circus. What? Ill-fated performance lingered at Haven's history for decades after. Oh, P. Audley died here. And, oh, it was a melanistic panther. A panther onker. What is a panther onker? Is that a mountain lion? A light change to, was there a light change mods? So panthers are versions of big cats, which are melanistic, which means that they have the black color variant. So a panther can be multiples, multiple cuts. It's actually a name for the color variation. It's not a name of a specific cut. So you can get like panther, like leopards and jaguars and a bunch of big cats. I know which one that is, but that's quite cool. But anyway, don't, don't start yet, I wanna to talk to Excuse everyone. Me. Please don't start everything yet. Okay, there is a drum kit here. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. You got new memory. I got loads of animal fucks for you guys. I always got animal fucks. Woohoo! Yeah! Hey, thanks. Uh, man, this show rules. It's, uh, it's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. Oh! That's stuff. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got. Um, Are we gonna get to meet Izzy? We know about Izzy. Dude, Where's the after party in, this year? I'm dying. After party? Oh no, Eleanor's oh, not. They just hope Riley man, is like doing so all right. You must oh, know no. what the haps is. What happened to Riley? Honestly, well, I'm getting Eleanor's pretty bushed. Really worried about Thinking of Riley. calling it a night soon. I wonder what's wrong. My goodness. Can I speak to her? What is this town coming to? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Light change to blue, okay. Uh, where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. No. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too. Sure, I'll try my best. The decorations really Riley's turned not out beautifully. Because of, um, it must have been a huge amount of work. She looks after it's Eleanor, it. but Eleanor has Alzheimer's. So, we're doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. Who's going first? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Eleanor, let's go. Oh, 
I better get going. Eleanor is. Eleanor's secret wild child. Where's Mark? Enjoy your night. You too. Oh, Mr. Lantern. I love what you've done with your bar. Where's Mark? Am I being blind? I can't see I Mark. see him hauling ass toward the dock. We do have some emotions here, though. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year. Oh, I can by sit far. and hang out by that the bonfire. kind of enthusiasm is infectious. This reminds me of Bonfire Night in the UK. I love Bonfire Night. Yeah, that was an awkward encounter. Definitely. Mystic, thank you so, so much for the this. So this is that whole communal gathering thing Definitely everyone's get always complete, going on about. Gonna get some chips. Oh, if you eat late at night, Canton doesn't make you sleep worse. Just a warning. But that you enjoyed this episode. Okay, I good get to it. know. Thank you. Francie, thank you for the eight months. And Jim, Jim, thank you for the super six months in a row of your prime. This is all really freaking cute. I love the fairy lights. I could live in this town so easily. Like literally this place is so nice. I love it. I like like the cute little small town vibes. Oh, Steph has just sent me a little <laughs> cute. Um, Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. No, I don't want to head back. I want to see more people, do more stuff. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. Night sight is reminding me how lucky I am to call this around. place home. Maybe she's she? happy to stay here. I don't know. And getting our last bucket, basket of roses. And jelly bean contest has ended. We knew that one. Live music is starting soon. No, I want to try and speak to everyone. Steph's over here. Have I got any emotions? No. Um, oh, I can give her a rose. Hey, Steph. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do I get a vote? Can we do a vote? What was the vote results for the rose? Okay, she's just dancing away. I could give Steph the rose. I'm really torn. Oh my gosh. Ryan got 60%. Okay, interesting, interesting. Doing this takes a certain type of person. And I am not that person. You guys said that Ducky is in the bar, but how do I even get to the bar? <gasps> Ryan is here. I should give my rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. Wait, where's the bar? Oh, what is this? Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is that just the most fire. beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. What? You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? Man. Haven really parties at this festival, huh? That's so huh? cute. Oh, Mark is here! I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So... What now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you. But... In the meantime... They're the only ones cutting checks in town. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. So he's got to keep working for them. I mean, that's fair enough. You can do better? Okay, but be careful. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? Oh, that was a remembrance. It's always thing. flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Oh, there's the Mac I know. <laughs> Should Take I it easy, dude. Leave? I, I think it's really privileged to say so to someone like. 
quit your job because you work for a company that I find unethical. Like, okay, not so everyone could just do that. This young yeah. farm maid in the elvish countryside. Oh, hello. Sets out to find her missing sister, who was abducted you, years ago by a guild. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Mm. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired. No, I'll call you on Good this luck point. with that sign. What you guys said that Looks Dookie's like in the bar? Plenty of people are still out around town. So can I go all the way to town? Oh, geez, you could no have just problem. missed all it's of not this. An emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. Typhon is not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Get what? out while you can, dude. Maybe I should have told him to get out. Oh no. You guys said go to the bar. Um... Grand opening tomorrow. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Nice. May the best small town diner Okay, win. and then the bar is over here. Okay, let's go to the bar. Is Dookie okay? Let's go. Let's head inside. This won't mess things up for my rose, will it? Yeah, does the rose lock it in? I don't know. Hmm. Jim Jen, thank you so much for the six months. Avine, thank you so much for the seven months. And Misa Linda, thank Sounds you so much like for the Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. Months. I should head outside. Uh, my baby girl was born always oh, 27th. Her name is Ellie. I wanted to thank you for your positivity and get me through the rough times of my pregnancy. You're my comfort person. Can we get some congrats in the chat, please, for Misa Linda? That is amazing. Huge, huge congrats. And hello, Ellie. Very cute. Very, very cute. Ah. Okay, Jed's crown. It was so fun watching Jed oh, play the villain. Of course. What a good sport. Fun Jed to thought Bourbon. this is a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. Well played, kitchen staff. Plain hamburger. <laughs> Odds are pretty good. Okay, I'm grabbing a cup Dookie later then? tonight. Ducky. Old odd. What about acute emotional kleptomania? Um. Where, where is he? You guys said he's in here? Oh, he's in here on his own. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was. Oh, because it's like a bit of a be. romance Tabitha. festival. Sounds like Ducky's got. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex. On this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. Can we There's go gotta be emotions? more I can do for Ducky. I still think people would find it so weird if you did that to them. Definitely seeing things without any color to them. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Okay. I get like, uh, what happened? Did she leave? Did she die before him? I think one of like the saddest things in life is, you know, leaving before a partner or a partner leaving before you. Wait, wait, don't drink it. Look at the bottom. Has it got a ring? What? What are you? Uh, oh, Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? music here is really pretty. I feel like when you've got someone like Ducky that's like such a personality, people like expect him to be like on form all the time. Whereas like he's a person with like, you know, stuff going on too. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, 
You're gonna outlast this whole damn town. So they were together for at least 30 years. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. We can put on the song. What was the song? Could you guys tell what the song was? Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. When you town. worked in a pub, you met a lot of people like Ducky. Oh, poor Ducky. Is there any other emotions? Maybe we can just put a song on that reminds him of her. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The spring fest? That's right. Dance? Spring festival? I feel like it's got something to do with the music. He doesn't want to talk about Tabitha. Give me one sec. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. She's so lovely. Literally so lovely. No wonder she's got that ability that's all em empathy related. And nice as well that he saw it as like, you know, oh. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. Let's, I should head um, outside. Oh, can we clean these up before? No. Ugh. Not tonight. Not tonight. Okay. It's less that him being like, oh, this young, young woman's giving me attention and more like understands that she's just looking after Mandatory him. night off? I'll take it. Um, that was really cute. I liked that a lot. Very, very cute. Um, Brewster, thank you so much for three months in a row. I've been gifted two separate subs by your lovely peaches and wanted to carry my sub on. Oh, my love to you and your wonderful community. Thank you so much, Brewster. And Colleen at Hummus, thank you so much for the 12 months in a row. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. She's a whole I better head year. back. Have some flowers. That's sending you big loves as well. I, I wanted to see if we could find, um, what's she called? Riley. I don't know where she is. Neighbors? Oh. Come on. They did sponsor the festival, I guess. What are you so happy about? Been a while since I seen you smile like that. We're ice cream it's geniuses. We that run this shit. She flexing, ice cream lady. Uh, where is... Couldn't Ooh. have said it better myself. Where is, um, where's Riley at? Will she be in the flower shop, maybe? Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go over nosy at the flower shop. Oh, I can never remember where every anything is in this town. To say it's so small, I find myself getting lost quite a lot. Okay, so that was the bar. He's trying to get people into his diner. Um, general store. Lots of people still Sleeping. hanging out on Main Street tonight. Um, Silver Dragon. Mining Museum. Where is a flower shop? I swear it's the other way to this. Was it here? Was it there? Flowers! Hmm. Someone special, huh? We are closed. Time to deliver. Closed festival to... Hmm. Where is she? I don't think I can go this way, can I? No. Where is the bus? I have a surprise for you. Good surprise. I didn't expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on. But here we are. Wait. The plain statue Valley. Is someone standing out past the bridge of flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Ooh. We have accidentally stumbled upon her. Let's have a little nosy. See why she's not at the party with everyone else. I don't think we usually can go past this point. This is, we can't usually go all the way up here. Oh, is she gonna leave? No way. Oh, I've got a package. I don't wanna miss this, give me one sec. I got some crispies too. We'll just have to wait. That's all. Maybe Riley could do some company right now. Okay, let's see what's going on with Riley. Hey, Riley. Oh. Hey. What are you doing here? Hmm. Just wanted to say hi. Maybe. I couldn't find you at the party. Yeah. <sighs> Partyings. Not really in the cards. I was supposed to leave on the bus tonight. I know. Could you not go so to maybe a, hopes a local and uni? All poured into one fucking bus ride. But it's okay. Nana needs me now. She was there for me before, and now it's my turn. And I don't have to do it solo. Mac is still helping around the shop, even with us broken up. Eleanor is so lucky to have you. Thanks, Alex. Hang in there, okay? Why doesn't Mark take over her job? And then... You're awesome for coming out here. She can go to uni and Mark can look after Eleanor. I can't get anything else out of her. I hope she can bounce back soon. Yeah, she's sad, but I can't read anything else. Oh, poor Riley, guys. There are no local unis in the Colorado, Colorado mountains. Fair. <laughs> Fair. Beanbag, thank you so much for 13 months. Mm -mm. I haven't your streams for ages because of school, but I'm going to watch them for next few weeks because I'm finally having surgery. To smell. Thank you for everything that you do. The community is awesome. What, you're having surgery on your nose? That's awesome. Uh, help the people in the street. What do you mean? I think we've done quite a lot of stuff. I think I've spoken to most people. I can check with these guys. Day drinkers. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, oh God. I still like her so Wait, much. Wait, can we not get these guys to talk? What do I do? Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Wait a minute. I'm head over heels. Oh, for I can finally dog. speak to them. Oh my gosh. Hey, um. It's the Spring Fest. You're both obviously into each other. Just 
make out already. What? <laughs> you heard me. Is it that obvious? Mm. Is what obvious? Fuck. Julia, I don't want to screw this up. What's obvious? Are we talking about the same thing? Look, if we weren't in the middle of the street, I would totally jump you right now. Uh, I... Mm. Do you want to come back to my place tonight? Maybe. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Absolutely yes. <laughs> It worked, guys. We finally got that couple together that have been dancing around each other for like this whole game. Girlfriend, I know, right? Okay. So we saw Riley, we saw Ducky. We helped out those people on the street. Wait, can I speak to this guy? Okay, I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. Oh gosh. All right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already Oh my tonight? gosh, you should have done nope. coupons. Stupid. So stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town. I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh. Well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. Gotta pull my shit together. For I hope this he actually does opening. it. I've not had a notification on my phone. No, he's not. These posted. people won't be so gracious forever. He's not got the best business sense, this guy, has he? Um. Okay. Was the party up this way? Right. I think we've done everything in the town. So no, I just need to decide who I'm giving the my rose. The rose can wait for to. now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Oh man. I really don't know. I really like both of them. Who should I give it to, guys? Who shall I... Oh, Ducky's here. Hey, Ducky. How are you feeling? Splendid. Thanks to you. Go have some fun. You've earned it. The chat's very Ryan. Very Ryan. Typhon is not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Oh, can I speak to Eleanor? No, she's still feeling worried. Um, okay. Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Can we do one last poll? I'm still going to decide for myself, but I just want to see what you guys are thinking. Mystic Shredder, thank you for the bits. Give the rose uh, first, because the bar seems the final part. I made the mistake. Oh, wow. Ooh, I missed that, but luckily it hasn't happened. But thank you for the heads up, Mystic. Um, Kalina Hummus, thank you so much for the 13 months. So you got your little flower, didn't you? And also, um, oh, sorry, my game has gone off. Um, the Dominic, the Dominica Benick, thank you so much for being for eight months in a row. I love this community. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Kira May, thank you so much for the 10 months in a row. Double high fives to you. Haven't been on Bleh. Haven't been able to join a stream in a while because I'm moving in with my partner and rescuing a new puppy. But I'm so glad to be here today. That's amazing. Congrats on both of those things. Sonic Hedgehog 91 has just subscribed. Please can welcome them to the Peaches, please. Moa Dira, thank you so much for being for four months in a row. I've been gone a few months, but now I'm back. Thank you for helping me through some very hard times. No worries at all, my love. Hope your times are happy and all. Ryan again. Thank you so much for six months in a row, seven months in total. Love you. I love having you in my streams. And uh, Sean Marie, thank you so much for the bits. And Maka, thank you so much for being here for 11 months in a row. Love being part of the peaches. Okay, you guys are voting in the poll right now. I'm very torn. I Time think... to sync up with Ryan before the show. I kind of feel like... Alex has very good chemistry with both of them. Honestly, they're both great. I actually don't want to break either of their hearts. Martina Peachy, thank you so much for the 13 months of Radio Prime. Finally able to get back into your watching streams live. I missed a lot. Sending love to you and the Peaches. I think they're both great. They're both so good. I really don't know. I did propose to Steph already. And she did wear a cute witch outfit. Hmm. Ste Steph, like, I like that she isn't as volatile as, um, 
Who was it in Life is Strange 1? I just did not get a good vibe from her at all. I think Steph has more like a fiery chemistry and uh, Ryan has more cute chemistry. You guys, that's 59% Ryan. Oh my gosh, I don't know, this is so hard. This is so hard. I'm gonna go for who I would date. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick who I would date. So This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. Oh, that's so cute. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Okay, we gave our roses to Steph. The reason, I, I like Ryan a lot, but I agree. Ryan has Golden Retriever energy. He's a little bit more, I don't know. I kind of like Steph's edge. She has a nice edge without being like mean, you know? And I think she's like, they've got really good chemistry. Ryan is just a little bit too like, I don't know. He's just, he's more friend. He's more friend, so. Hey. Oh, hey. We just got phone, by the way. Um, what was that? Oh, it's live music time. And that guy never posted after I told him to. I can't believe that. That's so annoying. I literally told him to post on my block and he just completely ignored me. And, oh, these are older ones that I never checked. Oh, no. Hand glued to, hand glue, hand super glued to taxidermy animal help. Oh, no. He tried to type it into Google and it, Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, well. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. <gasps> Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Uh-oh. Steph. Uh-oh. Who else is playing? Uh oh. Are they gonna make it? No! I will eat you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. I wouldn't wuss out. Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. With friends like these, this is who gonna needs be awesome. enemies? Trust me. Oh gosh. <sighs> I can like feel her stress. Um, we've never played together before and uh, anyway, sorry if this sucks. <laughs> Fuck it. Here. No, don't do this to us. Don't do this to us. Game, no. Don't do this to us. No, you are not doing this to us. Are you kidding me? I only get to hear the crowd? My brother showed my ukulele for me for this moment, I'm sure. How could they do this to me? I will. Misty Butterfly. Thank you so much for the seven months in a row. You got a doctor's appointment, but have a good stream. Thank you so much. And Cosmic Angel Marie says, just subscribe. Please can we welcome them to the Peaches. I can't believe the game did this to us. I'm so 
so mad. I wanted to hear her singing so much. Instead, you've just got my stupid voice. And yeah, it's it sounds really stupid in streamer mode. I'm pretty sure this is what they're singing though. You gotta say ukulele. I bet it sounds so cool. She's amazing, everyone's dancing. Look at Dookie dancing away. We should have been able to see that. Yeah, if they'd have put the lyrics on, I could have tried to make something up for you guys, you know? I love this song, turn it up. <laughs> Mystical Show, no, thank you so much for the bits. I did Steph because the voice actor taught to me, but I do love Steph, and I love Steph romance. And Martina Peachy, thank you so much for 13 months in a row. I've only been able to get back, back to watching your streams. I've missed a lot. Sending love to you and all of the peaches. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. The lights are going all over the place. Oh, Charlotte. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was horrible to you earlier. Yes. You really weren't. Yes, you were. Really? Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> I wish... There's still time. Maybe. I guess we'll see. I think we look so much like our brother that we're just reminding her of Gabe over and over and over. Hey Gilly, thank you so much for the 12 months in a row, 14 months in total. Have some flowers with all the peachy love. Thank you. What happens if we we took our anger then? Would there be would this scene be different? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I feel bad for Ethan. I do feel quite bad for Ethan. We'll give her a little, a little snug, a little snug, trying to make her feel better, even though she did just scream at us and um, blame us for everything last episode. But she's going through some pretty extreme grief, so. Hey. You okay? No. But. Well, you know. I'm gonna go home. Poor Charlotte. Mackenzie! Can welcome Mackenzie to the features, please? Thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, her character's super beautiful. So how was that different if you took her anger then? Steph says, let's meet me on the rooftop. Sure thing. And he still hasn't posted. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Well, I didn't get to hear any of it. Steph, Alex, bravo, wow, wow, wow. Thanks guys, you had a blast, totally starstruck. <gasps> oh, I wanted to hear it so badly, like so badly. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Is that something else? No. Ugh. Uh, yeah, what happens if you took her anger? You say it's bad like that she feels empty. Ah, oh, instead of being able to try and work through things, she's just left sad and empty. I see, I see, I see. Oh, what's going on here? Are you serious right now? Oh, he's locked out of his car. Boot. One, fucking two, two, three. Oh I control. Oh, it's the Angi guy. It's the Angi guy. Two. Fuck. Too bad I can't unlock doors with my emotions. Fucking flowers. Oh my gosh, that guy is so angry. Angie guy's scary. Um, There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Where is the bar? Wait, if I just run straight past the bar? There's still a decent crowd milling around tonight. Um, where 
this the bar? Is it this way? He's so angry, that guy. He kind of is quite good at, like, reflecting how, uh, really angry people look to other people, though. You're just like, oh my gosh, too much, too much kind of thing. There we go. He's very angry. Very, very angry. Okay, are we gonna get a romance scene with Steph now, then? It's interesting the romance is in episode four, not episode five. Because there's one more episode after this, but you guys said it's pretty short. So... <gasps> it's going down soon, okay. I did help the, car the guy get the gift card killer. Yeah, he is scary. Mystical Showdown! Thank you so much for gifting a sub! If you gift by Mystical Showdown, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Are you guys ready for some romance? I am, I am, I am. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. <gasps> I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait. Seriously? What, we're I'm gonna you. play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. Did we make an error? Did we make an error? <sighs> Holy shit, Steph. That's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. What? I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. I'm not going with you. you. This town is so cute. Look luck at these fairy lights. I'm staying Shut here. Up. Pick one. She's leaving? Steph, what? What the hell? Why would you do this to us? What? <laughs> Should I have gone Ryan? I, I thought we were gonna stay here and be little cute mountain babies together. I don't wanna go to Berlin or, or Witch which Salem or the ocean. I wanna stay here in the mountains. Why is she doing this to me? Obviously, we're suggesting Salem because it's cool and witches are cool and you were dressed as a witch, which is kind of perfect. Although I think you would love Berlin personally, but whatever. Salem, Halloween capital of the world, or so they say. <laughs> Who do I hang out with? Not me, because I'm not going. Witches or mass holes? Uh, witches. You join a coven, a lesbian <gasps> coven. I've been saying. Is there any coven other kind? For so long. <laughs> you hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Cause I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. Don't do this to me. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. No. Then come with me. No, this place is so cute. Look at you in a t-shirt at 10 p.m. To Salem? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or, I don't know, Kansas City, no. Vegas, wherever we want. There's not even a mosquito in the air and you want me to leave this place? Why are you getting totally distracted Look, from our mystery gun? I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. Mosquito free Ethan's. I already told you. And to bring down the mining I company. Mean, obviously, I, I like you, thank you a lot, Alex. Thanks, Dominic. Dominica. You mean the fucking world to me. Look how cute she is as well! I can't believe she's doing this. No, Ryan wouldn't have asked to sleep because he's a ranger here. Shaney, 
uh, Kasal, we thank you so much for eight months in a row. Just popping in and finish college on the way home to catch up on YouTube. Hope you're having a good day. I hope you are as well. Shani, hope college went okay. I mean, obviously I'm gonna kiss her, but I can't believe she's doing this to us. Obviously we kiss it, yeah. She's afraid. Kiss me. Oh, kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. <gasps> I took her fear away. She's gonna take it to us. She's so happy. don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. That was a really nice scene, to be fair. The music is really pretty and I love the effect of it going into the um into the mountains. I I will look at how the scene looks with Brian, don't worry. Lavender cuts, thank you for the six months, half a year. That was a really cute scene. Yeah, it's her dream. It is her dream. I just don't think it's mine. Oh, we've gotta go find uh um, hey. Gabe, can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was Everyone's kind of that counting on you to that. show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Right, we've got to go find the police officer. I'm really worried that this is not going to happen. Oh, gosh. We do both have a musical connection. You're right. We do both have a musical connection. But I don't want to leave this town. I love this town. I love the people in it. I don't really see how that could change. Oh, he's here. If he's Alex. in on it, I swear to God. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call. Why are you not in a police station? Plan, the cover up. Why is it not being recorded? You need what? to come with me to the station. Okay. Hey, gamers. Alex, don't make this hard. Because <gasps> she stole it. Uh oh. <gasps> he does have a crush on Diane. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. He does. Is she just going to get charged with stealing and not anything to do with the death? Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Uh, no. I'm all right. Thanks, so. though. Good. Because we're, uh, actually out. What? What? Sit down, you fool. Are you making me Pike, nervous? Why am I here? 
The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. You can't use anything that was stolen as evidence in a trial. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything we you've been looking we found for on is floor. on that drive. We could have said we found it on the floor. We could lie. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. It's right there. Sorry, Alex. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Oh, we're not gonna wanna stay in this town now, are we? Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. You said we found her. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Oh, God. Diane, what are you doing, you rot? You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. Yeah, she knows we hacked it, too. Why can't you be cool to If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Oh, gosh. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Mm, I'm sure you do. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. <gasps> Pike, what the hell? Alex, please, just sign the form and we can both go back to the party. I don't care about stupid party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. He's frightened for us. He's frightened for him. He promised her he'd get her to sign it. He promised Diane. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Arthur David. Fuck me. Charges to be dropped. Tight. 
Typhoon Mine and Security Threat Evaluation. Brother died. Initial intel show subject is high level of determination and efficacy. Negative aff affectation has persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Suspect all systems have possession of confidential data and information. They've taken pictures through my window. Began following subject after meeting with Mark. Subject met, met Ryan. The loss of notes. Subject spent three hours in an apartment. Wi-Fi screening, screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhoon's history. This is a private investigating service. Subject met and spoke with client at Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen object. Ryan, close friend, Grey Chen, died in accident. Assisting Alexandra with efforts against Typhoon involved in an extremely distraught over accident. High levels of knowledge of geography and residents of Haven. Staff. Assistant has proven resourceful and dangerous. How was she proven dangerous? What the hell? Oh no. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. Oh, no. I bet if I took his fear away... But didn't we learn last time this is a bad idea? But it's idea? not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Oh, this is a big decision. It's not giving you the chance to vote. Okay, can we do a vote in the chat instead? January, thank you so much for being here for seven months in a row. Haven't been able to step in so long because of an unstable job situation. I'm so happy to be back. I gotta go now because I'm not cut off. Love you guys. Thank you for popping in January. It's really tough because the game has taught us already that taking emotions is bad. Uh, taking other people's emotions isn't necessarily the right thing to do. Um... But also it's taught us that signing, we already told somebody else not to sign. So it's kind of taught us against both of these things already. We told Charlotte not to sign her affidavit, um, but we also didn't take Charlotte's anger. So what are we supposed to do this time? Take his food. A lot of you guys are suggesting take it. This is different. Take it please. Don't you want to choose something for yourself? I do, Amber, but I'm trying to assess both situations. I don't think she should sign it, but the fact that they've got Steph and Ryan on there too. But you can look into somebody without doing anything, you know? It did, Look how it's worded it as well. Sign affidavit. Risk taking Pike's fear. If we take Pike's fear, we'll be the scared ones. Could we end up getting Pike into danger? That's the thing. We could end up getting him into danger too. This is a scary situation. I don't know anymore either. I feel like if we took Pike's fear and make him go for it, he might be in danger. But if we sign the affidavit, she's going to regret it her whole life. She's going to be so miserable. I really don't know what she should do. I'm kind of leaning towards taking the fear though. That's kind of what I'm thinking. 
Was there a light change mod? Sorry, did I miss a light change? If we sign the game, we'd just be over. Oh my gosh, imagine you just never get to play episode three. I think the game has taught us to be like strong and resilient, so I think we should risk it. We've got a light change to green, thank you. Let's do some green lights, there we go. Gabe deserves better than giving up. That is true, he was a good person. Take Pike's fear. Okay, let's do it. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Have courage or forgave. Oh, you guys can vote on this. I don't know why you didn't get the vote on the big one. I think we've made the right choice, but then sometimes in life is strange. Both choices could be right. They'll just be different endings and one of them isn't necessarily better than the other, but sometimes they're both sad either way. That's what Life is Strange 2 taught me, you know. <laughs> uh, I feel like we still got the best ending, but it was still incredibly sad. And there were other endings that people preferred, so... It's not always quite as simple as that. For Gabe, okay. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? I'm a bit Alex, worried about Pike now. Be careful. In Life is Strange 2, I got the one where he went to prison and he never saw his brother again, but they both lived. Why doesn't the USB have a cup? To be fair, none of my USBs have cups on them anymore. <laughs> Alex, come see me when you get the chance. Jed. Please be okay. Are we gonna cover something? Are we gonna uncover something that's gonna put someone like Jed in danger? Or like, embarrass Jed? Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... Because Jed was involved in that previous incident, wasn't he? Did they pay him up? We're a little bit shaken up. It's because we absorbed the fear. So now we're afraid. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. I don't know. Is there any new First, I need to get out of this dress. Couch. Is that my phone? Ooh, I can check my phone on the couch. Nice. Get set down first. And then let's check our phone in. Uh, what a festival. We drank, ate, and made merry. We tasted chilies. We rocked some music. Thank you for a lovely evening. Great festival. Who posed from this account then? Thanks for our business partners. Best part of the year. And then two of my Maybe neighbors. I should start charging. I for just my changed services. their relation. Josh Hopkins and Julia now in a relationship. 
<laughs> and then I'm Ducky. glad Ducky had a nice night. Really good to see you out this year, it. Duck. It's certainly time for new beginnings. Oh, cute. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. It's over avalanche ice creams. I liked it when Josh burned his mouth on the chili. I didn't. <laughs> um, okay, and then have we got any text messages? No, nothing. Okay. We're having a little sit though. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? I like this music. Buried secrets. Hana Rose. Evil mining corporations. Thank you so much the 11 months. Hope work went okay. Death threats. I would be closing my blinds about now. I'd be like. I didn't realize how awful it would all be. <gasps> A little baby on the bed. Can I shut the blinds? I want to go shut the blinds like right now. <laughs> Ducky. Hope he's doing okay. Why is that not an interaction? That would be the first thing you did when you get back. Who is taking the photo? Is it the bird watcher? I still think it's the bird watcher. This isn't over, Gabe. I promise. A little Gabe shrine. Anything else we can interact with? Anything new? Nothing I can see. Postcards. I guess the night wasn't all bad. Oh, they're from Seth. Okay, let's get dressed. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Wait, can I pick up my outfit or anything? I no. look better than I feel. Okay. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. And then the bike, the guitar. Then I, that I think I'm all played out for tonight. I really wish I could have heard how it went. I missed Steph's comment. What did Steph say? Oh, I finally grew a pair and told a very special girl how special she is. And the scariest part wasn't telling her, it was realizing how dumb I was for waiting this long. You deserve two scoops for that one, hell yeah. I wonder if Ryan saw that comment. Okay, I think we've seen everything. Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine, dig up some answers myself. I don't really know why we've not done that yet, to be honest. Feels like the LARP was a hundred years ago. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Jed. Have you opened a drawer? What, on the nightstand with his list of things that he wants to do? Yeah, we've seen that. This apartment, I wasn't sure when I first saw it, but I actually think it's super cute. I feel a bit better. I guess I can go see the boss man now. I'm nervous, guys. What if Jed's involved somehow? My, I will be wanting to leave this town with stuff. My illusions will have been completely shattered. Asian Diva, thank you so much for the one. Two, 300 bits, hope you're well as well. You've got your merch. <gasps> Four crop tops in your bucket hat. What, that's awesome. Please tweet hey, some Jed. pictures on Feeling Peachy. Hashtag Feeling Peachy, please. There she is. Have a seat. Oh gosh, guys, I'm a bit worried about this. I got a bad feeling. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. I'm gonna match the light. And let you go, bar. apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier yeah. today. Looks like we're in the bar now. Wait, I wasn't sure this? why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. He seems a bit annoyed at us. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. He Gabe was brighter. like that. Wrong. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Can we trust Jed? Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Let's get some liquid courage. <sighs> Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. 
emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some you see the lighting there? secret they buried. The blue lighting on her side and the red on his. Look, look, look. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. He seems I know what they're hiding. He seems to be lit for a reason like this. I don't know. What is it? Are you new? It's almost like they're trying to make him Please, look Jed. Like his evil character. What's from the, law. the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. <gasps> I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Is he actually good? And I'm like, I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Is he gonna kill me in the mines? Am I gonna die in the mines? Is this how I die? Do I die in the mines? Is Jed gonna throw me in a mine? There, up ahead. Where are we? middle of nowhere about two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for ethan five clicks that way is town what's a click what is this thing ventilation shaft they're scattered everywhere over the years mines grow into mines creating a labyrinth under haven what you're searching for is down below oh my gosh guys i don't trust this at all <laughs> Why are you sad? Oh my gosh. He's got gun. I'm sorry, kid. Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off? I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. And the whole town seems him as a hero. But he's not. But Typhon made me a deal way to save my town give my boy a normal life I never wanted Gabe to get hurt Why am I go to hell <gasps> <gasps> Yo, we're not surviving that we are not surviving that like no chance When I saw this promo clip, I thought that was Gabe falling. When he fell, and then it didn't show it in episode one. I was like, why wasn't it there? <gasps> oh my gosh. Pike let Alex go after she removed his fear. Alex gave the rose to Steph, 67%. We had a nice moment by the bonfire. We took a minute to reflect before talking to Jed. We mused about moving to Salem. We shared a kiss. We didn't meet Alex. And we didn't kiss Alex. We had a bittersweet moment. We didn't feel weirdly detached. Riley had already decided not to go to school. Uh, and Ducky joined the festival. Alex. Oh, she could have gone to college. Oh. Alex helped the jelly bean contest. We helped the dinner buyer with his my block post. Got the guy and the girlfriends together. 
Oh my gosh. Is the final chapter only one hour? No, we definitely didn't kiss Alex. Sorry, I meant Ryan. I meant Ryan. Sarah Moon, thank you so much for the 14 months. Thank you. I don't understand how she can survive that. Surely we're dead. Surely we are dead. That makes no sense. There's no way we've survived that. If the final chapter is just one hour, I think we should go for it. Oh, hi, Stacy. I, I, I don't think you can survive getting shot and then falling down a mine, a mine shaft. I just don't think you can. Lisa the bear, thank you so much for me for three months with your prime. Yeah, I don't is I don't get how this final chapter can work. Hmm. Jeez, that was intense. That was so intense. Oh my gosh. How many of you guys got the same endings as me? Oh my gosh. Oh wow wow wow. Okay. So I'm gonna end this episode now so i hope you guys had a good time i'll see you guys in another one goodbye